the world is evolving and technology is evolving. So regulations don't always keep up. So there's more grace, so there's more subjective interpretations in terms of what regulations are coming The other thing is, at least internationally, what we are seeing is there is some short staffing, even with the regulators, not just a a challenge or a phenomenon in the for-profit world or in the business world at all. So, what does that mean from a pre-launch perspective? What that means is whatever timeline that you're setting for yourself to open new offices or establish new businesses, double it. So double that time frame. That's where we are right now. That's what we are experiencing, experiencing ourselves. That's what we are seeing with our clients. Uh, so then when you look at post-launch uh, in terms of regulations is there are two things that are pretty much at the forefront. The first one is data protection. And GDPR is a classic example from the European standpoint. Where you host your data, who has access to it, has a lot of implications from, from the regulation perspective. So, so protecting that data is becoming very critical. And the second thing uh, that is at the forefront is cyber. Cyber liability in terms of cyber events that are impacting businesses. So those two things uh, from a post launch perspective is what we see. Data protection is at the forefront. That's something everybody needs to you know, handle it very carefully and at the same time make sure your systems are strong enough to handle cyber events. But there is a distinction between political risk and political violence. That's, a, that's an important distinction that, that each business should make because political risk is a very generalized concept. It, most of you will not have an event because of political risk, but you will have an event or possibility of, a, of an event because of political violence. And political violence is loss of assets or destruction of assets because of an event that happens in a particular location, whether it's an unrest, civil unrest, or, or any related you know, demonstrations and so on and so forth. It's important to understand that because just as a fact, in the last 10 years, London and Paris combined have had more terrorist attacks and more events than Manila and Kuala Lumpur combined. You would think, you know, Europe is safer than Asia in general. So, the one trend that we are also seeing is as more and more demonstrations are happening around the world that are targeting American businesses to get more visibility. So, it's for <coughs> their benefit that, you know, it makes more headline if an American business is a debt as opposed to a local business even that just it's just a publicity thing that's happening so, so that's something to be careful of watchful of and as you